Quick anatomy facts with the noted anatomist. How can you ID the motor nuclei in the midbrain? Well, first, where's the waterfront? There it is, the cerebral aqueduct. And around the aqueduct in the midbrain is the periaqueductal gray matter, which pushes cranial nerve nuclei a little farther away from the waterfront than usual. Midline, sulcus limitans, lateral line, medial to the sulcus limitans motor, on the other side of the fence, sensory nuclei. Let's practice. There's a nucleus on the motor side towards the sulcus limitans. That's a visceral motor. So that's Edinger-Westphal nucleus in the rostral midbrain. There's another nucleus on the motor side, but it's closer to the midline, so it's somatic motor, and it's ocular motor nucleus in the rostral midbrain. Often, both of those nuclei are just put together clinically because they're side by side. If you see a red nucleus, your rostral midbrain. No red nucleus, caudal midbrain. But here on the motor side, closer to the midline, is another nucleus. So that's a somatic motor, that's trochlear nucleus. And that, my friends, are the midbrain motor nuclei in a nutshell.